How you doing, YouTube? I'm back again. Um, please like and subscribe. I got to get to 50 subscribers so I can go live with my store. So if you could help me out with like and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. I'm not asking for any money. I'm already making money at the business I'm in. My studio was completely funded by me. I don't need your money. I just want to get my message out. So please like and subscribe. Anyway. This is the arrest record from my wife, ex-wife, thank God. She uh, robbed my store August 14th at 6 p.m. This was her arrest record from that. Um, two of her accomplices have pled guilty. She's refusing to plead, so they're going to trial, I guess. Anyway, it just blows my mind that she's probably going to end up getting like house arrest or something stupid for this when a man would have got railroaded. If I had robbed her and done this to her, I would never see my son again. I would have got a $100,000 bond. At best, I might be able to see him supervised, but I doubt it. But because she's a woman, she got a $7,500 fine and was able to keep my child from me for a month after this. Welcome to the family courts in America. That's right, gentlemen. This woman right here, how do you point? Right there, robbed my store, my wife, and still was able to keep my child from me in family court. <clears throat> we just went through our divorce and she lost. I get my son half the time and I don't pay her any child support. I have to pay her $124 a month for 24 months because she lied about a babysitter she never had wanted to be reimbursed. Like she would do anything she can just to get a hundred fucking bucks a month. It's ridiculous. So yeah, this is it guys. Take a look at that. Just think if that was a man, he would never see his children again. He would go to prison for five to 10 years. But a woman gets a $7,500 bond and house arrest and control of the whole proceedings of divorce until they were final. Now the judge has put me in control halfway. That's it. That's really all I have to say today. Um, young men, guard your seed. Once you shoot up the club, shout out to Kevin Samuels. Um, they own you. They can kill the baby, but you can't abandon it. They own you as soon as you get them pregnant. And they will change on you as soon as they get pregnant because they understand that they have the law, they have the court, and they have public sympathy on their side. My ex-wife did all this crap and was able to go into court and still try to act like a victim. Don't do it, guys. Do not do it. Do not do it. I don't give a shit what she says. Don't do it. And if you're going to do it, get a prenup. I don't care if you just own a PlayStation. Get a prenup that says you come in with what you came out, you go out with what you came in with, and everything else is split down the middle. That way it's in writing and it's done. Also try to get a parenting plan while things are amicable. That way when things are done, it's done. You only gotta do all this fighting. You guys have a good week. It's Thursday, we're almost to Friday. Fridays don't really matter to me. I work seven days a week. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Weather's pretty nice.